Good morning, Rustic Piper here. Back at you. Smoking my Savin Alley 673 naked that I got from Garbage Man Piper a long time ago. We got all well, this thing colored up. This is awesome. Still smoke it on almost you know, quite a few Wednesdays. I don't know why Wednesday. I just chose Wednesday. Uh, in it. Some of my homemade English blend that I've been pressing. It's not bad. It's definitely a lot bomb. I thought I had this lit. <laughs> so we'll light it. That's better. So, what's been going on? What are you smoking? Slam it in the trunk. I like seeing those comments. Um, been painting my miniatures. I got some new pipes to show you too. But these little dudes are called Hormigants. See if I can hold it without breaking them. I learned how to thin down my paint so a lot of this inner detail will pop out. So it's just not focusing right. Mm, it's not bad. <laughs> but yeah, wind up doing 24 of those. That's just the base coat. Now the detail work comes into play. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's going to take a long time. This just is not staying lit. Something wrong this morning. I haven't had enough coffee. Epic save. Let's put it down. It's distracting me. Anyways, wound up going to, um, not going to, getting on, checking out uh, Bishop's Pipes and got this really nice Molina. This thing is gorgeous. Volcano. So I got that one. I have not smoked it yet. Not yet. I also got on a trade from a friend of mine this little lion mirror. Ooh, that really won't show up. There we go. Kind of a cute little pipe. Come with a case. I also on that tr same trade. Wound up getting a uh, Peterson St. Patty's Day pipe. I named it Green Lantern. Because it's green. Duh. <laughs> it's a beautiful pipe. It's just a beautiful pipe. I love that green. Kind of makes me think of Swamp Thing, too. You guys remember Swamp Thing? I do. I don't know if it kind of geeks or not, but Swamp Thing was badass. And then I bought another Church Warden. Last time I showed you guys my wizard. Now I'm going to show you the Goblin. This thing is awesome. Look at that. I had to back my head up so I didn't whip myself in the face. Yes, I'm. Can't wait to smoke that. I have not smoked it yet. I can't believe I have not smoked it yet because I have been like drooling over that pipe since it came out. And it seems like now that I got it, I'm not in a big rush to smoke it. I don't know. Have you guys ever done that? It's kind of weird, but I'm sure the hell not normal.
So I wound up going uh, to the doctor, which I thought was pretty cool. He said I was a poster child for a medication, uh, some medication I'm on for my diabetes. And my A1C dropped all the way down to like five point something. I'm basically, I'm not di even diabetic at this point being on these meds. So that's a plus. Got that under control. Um, been pressing another tobacco. Um, right now I'm pressing some cherry and some chocolate together because my favorite holiday candy. I, I think I said this in the previous videos, chocolate covered cherries. So I'm trying to make a chocolate covered cherry pipe tobacco and it smells delicious. Uh, I sent somebody some and they said it was very good. So I haven't even tried it myself yet. Um, so yeah, when this batch comes out of the press, I will definitely be trying it. Let you know how it goes. Um, it's both super value cherry and super value chocolate. So I kind of wanted to keep it the same. It was a cheaper blend, but like I said, the chocolate, when I smoked the chocolate, I actually had chocolate flavor all the way down to the bottom of the bowl, which made me want to try the cherry too. So hopefully it goes well. Um, on that note, nothing else, not a whole lot else been going on. Um, I want you guys to tell me what you're smoking, slam it in the trunk. I want everybody to be safe and as always be well.